Yeah, sure. I will leave right away and be right there. That was nice, Thiri. Here we are at a new home. Yes, this looks nice. And the owner appears to be doing something with computers. What are you reading now? Something about information systems. What's that? You have been using a lot of new words. Computers, information systems and that boy too was talking about all these things. What are they? This, my dear Midi, is a computer. Huh? So? What do I do? Can I eat it? Is it tasty? Stop acting stupid. It's a great machine which nowadays does a lot of things. Yeah, okay. But what was that information system thing? You go set up the mouse hole. Let me read and then I will tell you. Go now. Bye. Hey, Miri, wake up. What? See how much work I have done. I'm tired. This place looks amazing. But I want to tell you about information systems. Yes, go ahead. Now, Miri, as you might have guessed, the information systems are related to the computers. Obviously, Thiri, I may not be studious like you, but I'm not dumb either. Right then, what you have guessed is only partially correct. Partially? What do you mean? Well, the information systems are related to the computers. However, that is not the entire sum of it. You mean there is more to it than just computers? Yes. In fact, an information system is made up of five parts. They are people, procedures, software, hardware and data. I can only understand the people part. That part must be referring to people who use the computers. You are right, Mary. Those people are also referred to as end users. And the primary goal of computers is to make these end users more efficient and productive. Okay, I understood that. But what about the other parts? The procedures, software, hardware and also that other thing, data. Don't get so frustrated, Miri. They will seem very simple once I explain. Yeah, go on then. I'll explain data first. Computers are used for storing and processing the data. The unprocessed files, such as text files, images and sounds, are called as data. Okay, understood. So, all the material that the computer has and uses is data. Yes, then the equipment or various components of the computer, which are used for storing and processing the data, are called hardware. But Thiri, how does this hardware come to know what to do with the data? I mean, other common hardware like hammer or screwdriver, can't do anything on their own, right? Neither does a computer, Miri. That is where the part software comes in. Software is a set of programs which give detailed instructions to the computer hardware. 
Then according to those instructions, hardware processes the data, which results in meaningful information which the end user can use. So where do the procedures fit in this picture? Well, the procedures are for the people. They tell the end users how to use the specific software. Wow! These computers sound amazing! I hope in this new house we can do lots of stuff with it. I was thinking the same exact thing. Thanks, Thiri. You really did simplify it for me. Come on now. Let's check out our new house.